Sister act. Yeah, it is. Join for joy for Lord, we adore thee, and in my life I put no, none of I mean, Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Z. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button down below and join the team. If you're not new here, welcome back. So I'm currently outside waiting on my Uber <laughs> um, because I'm on my way to brunch. I'm meeting my mom and my grandma and I think my cousins are coming. I'm not sure. Um, for my grandma's birthday. Her birthday was actually Friday, 11-11, um, but I just decided to do brunch with her today. Today is Sunday. Um, and I just decided to take an Uber because we're going to Fahrenheit, um, and it's actually not far from like where I live at, but also I didn't feel like having to deal with parking and all that, so I'm just taking an Uber. So I'm just waiting for my Uber to get here. Oh, he's pulling up now. So I will see y'all at Fahrenheit. Bye. It's, just, it's crazy what they're doing to this city. Like I love to see it like evolving and growing, mm -hmm. but it's just like we said, in the direction of pushing yeah, us right. out of here. Yeah, but it's the old, it's the old den to me. Yeah. I don't mind a little building, yeah, but then you're old den because the streets ain't changing nothing. The yeah. traffic done got worse, you know? So what can you do? Yeah. I'm from Brooklyn, so. Nice. Both my parents are from the Bronx. Oh. Uh, yeah. Bronx, they. Yeah, they did right. <laughs> they different. <laughs> they did absolutely right. Yeah. I got time for that mess. Oh wow! So this is where they're putting Midnight Diner. <laughs> you see, it's nothing but a hole there now. That's gonna be kind of chaotic putting that right there. <laughs> they got another part of it. Look, the door the entrance. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah. So if you turn right here at this light. Um, it should be like a little okay. entrance to the um, hotel where the restaurant is. Oh, gotcha. Thank you very You're welcome, much. Darling. You have a great day. Thank you, you too. lounging clothes as I always do because I know work from home life that's all I do but um I wanted to show you guys this new way I've been like tying my hair up at night I got it from TikTok <laughs> of course because where else would I get it from um I'm actually gonna put the TikTok in probably right here on the side I posted this TikTok in this this video like went viral on tiktok of me okay back up i stitched a tiktok that i saw 
using this like flexi wrap method and so I stitched a video of me like trying it out for the first time and seeing how my hair turned out y'all why this video went viral on TikTok <laughs> with like over 250k views I was like all over some flexi rods but anyway basically the girls video was like um like when she gets a fresh silk press instead of wrapping her hair she'll do like um two flexi rods now granted i have to do three because y'all know your girl has a little she got some hair okay so i end up doing three but she does like one on the top and then one she splits her hair in half basically so i kind of do the same thing i'm able to get all of the front in one but i have to break up uh the back into two flexi rods so I've been doing this for the past month and a half like when my hair is freshly done like I really only wrap my hair that first night so when did I do my hair I did my hair Friday night which was last vlog um and I wrapped it that night but then going forward I do this because like yes I like my hair straight but I also like it to have a little body so as y'all can see, this is the first flexi rod. This one was damn near falling out. So I just do the three little flexi rods. And I mean, granted, they're not like super tight or anything, but I don't want it to be super tight. I want the my hair to be like somewhat of like a nice body wave, I guess you could say. Or it's not like super bone straight, but Reasons why I started doing this is because, you know, after, is it going to focus? After a couple of days, you know, of course your hair starts to get a little oily. But when you constantly wrap it every night, that's making your hair get oily a lot faster. And I noticed that. And what I was doing was I was just sleeping with it in like a top knot. And I would use um, my little silk scrunchie. So. As y'all can see, this is what my hair is looking like when I take it down. And so basically, I'm just going to part it like normal. Do my little middle part. And here we go. I think it looks so good. It gives my hair a little body. Because y'all know, typically my hair be bone straight. Like, bone, bone straight. But it gives it a little body without having to put like more heat on my hair. So I've been doing this um, since like September ish, so like a month and a half. And here we go. My hair looks fresh. It is what's today Wednesday, so my hair is Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Six days. This is six day hair. Um, and I can feel or I can tell my like roots are starting to get a little oily but like I said I feel like when I was wrapping my hair at night my hair would be getting oily day three four <laughs> because when you wrap it you're like pressing the oils like together and all of that so this is just a cute little way if you didn't know don't know if I put y'all on to something new or if y'all like girl again we knew that already <laughs> but that's just what I've been doing to um wrap my hair up at night and I really really like doing it this way because it gives my hair a little body without having to add any heat on it so that's my little tutorial for the day it is it's so dark out here um but yeah I'm about to get started with the work the usual um after work I think I probably need to go grocery shopping um not probably I am <laughs> um because I am doing well um me and a group of my line sisters we are doing a friendsgiving on Friday night so um I'm doing my typical y'all know I don't be in the kitchen like that I'm making cornbread <laughs> and I'm bringing like plates and stuff like that so I need to um run to the store tonight and get all of those things and then I also just need to do grocery shopping for the house and then what else do we have on the agenda this weekend oh Sunday is my line sister one of my line sisters birthday so she's having like a brunch at her house 
So I need to go get the second half of her gift. I got the first half already. Um, she wants one of those gold Starbucks cups. And I went looking, what was that Monday night? I went to three different places. I went to Starbucks, Target, and Harris Teeter. And everybody had the pink ones, but nobody had the gold ones. So hopefully I can find the gold one for her, um, which I feel like it's gonna be a little hard now. But I also got her this Jimmy Choo perfume because um, when we went to our regional conference back in, what was that, like March or April? I don't know, we went to our re regional conference. Um, it's my line sister, Kayla. Um, she was like, she was like, Denise, what is that perfume you keep spraying? Because it smells good. And I was like, oh, it's Jimmy Choo, blah, blah, blah. So I picked this up for her because I remember that she liked um, the scent that I was wearing. So I got that for her. And like I said, hopefully I can find the gold cup to um, like be a part of her gift. If not, I may just get her a Starbucks cup, uh, not a Starbucks cup, a Starbucks gift card um, to go with it. So I don't know, we'll see but that is all let me get started for work um i need to make some breakfast really quick and i will check in with you guys later i'm so glad the sun is out today and it's nice it's been like cold and rainy the past two days honestly reasons why i haven't vlogged since sunday it's just been like ugh, and i've literally just like been in the house not doing anything so well other than working um so yeah I will check back in with you guys a little bit later. So I'll see y'all in a few hours. <laughs> hey y'all. There should be no reason I have this many packages. Um, but I figure we got a bunch of mail in. Let's let's do some unboxings, opening some mail. Hold on, let me put y'all back this way okay let me grab some scissors as y'all can see i just went and checked the mail and i had a ton of packages don't really know where they all came from but figured i would open up some stuff with you guys this first one looks like it's from walmart yes walmart you guys this is when working in influencer marketing is not easy on your wallet seeing like the content that a lot of our like influencers like feature and brands that they feature all of that it's just not good so i saw a video that featured these sweatpants from walmart they're champion like joggers they were only 15 dollars, so that's why i had to go ahead and like pick them up oh here's the they're just like black joggers um i got the gray color i actually got the gray color in the mail a couple of days ago hold on let me see but yeah i got the gray color as well just basic joggers i got them because one they were only 15 dollars and honestly this is all i wear because i work from home so i'm in the house all the time so just needed some more just like cute little like sweatpants to wear around the house and also to like you can make a cute fit out of this and i also just got some sneakers too so they'll be perfect to wear with these but yeah i got these two they're both from walmart and they were on sale for 15 dollars for like their pre black friday deal so i just went ahead and grabbed these because you can never have too many like lounge clothes in the house clothes so next from Target, I think these are my slippers. So, my favorite, favorite, favorite slippers are back. If you know, you know. I have my black ones on right now. The like crisscross furry slippers from Target. These are my favorite. I always like to have two pair at a time. Um, so I just ha I have two black pair right now. I haven't even touched my other black pair. But I got some more brown ones. Ooh. Now the ones that I had last year, they were like 
the lighter brown with this color brown so i like that they have like the solid brown because y'all know i have that teddy robe from target that's this color y'all saw me in it last vlog y'all always see me in that damn robe y'all probably see me in it in this vlog now that i think about it <laughs> Um, so I was glad that they had this color because now it can match my robe. I'm so excited about it. But these are currently 30% off on Target right now. I don't know why I'm telling y'all this because I think by Sunday the deal might be over when this vlog goes up. But just in case, they are still on sale. So I got these for $7. And these are from the brand, um, Stars Above. Y'all... I have been putting y'all on these slippers for the longest now. Um, so definitely get you a pair. They are so, so comfortable. You just, you cannot beat them. Love them. This looks like my Ivy box. And now that I think about it, I don't, even, I don't think I got my October box. This one is the November one. And I saw um, a couple of TikToks of what's in this box. And apparently this month they partnered up with um, Michelle Obama. And so I think we have her new book. Jesus. Let me unbox this with you guys so y'all can see. But. This is so cute. So it just has this Michelle Obama like cover paper. It just says, Michelle Obama, in partnership with Ivy Storehouse, present to you the light we carry. And it came with her little book. We love to see it. And then this is like a sleep dress. And then, as if I need another blanket, this is a um, little AKA blanket. So, love that. I'm going to put this to the side because I'm going to... Um, do a little Instagram story unboxing this, but so freaking cute. That's so cute. I love Michelle Obama. Love her down, okay? How can you not love Michelle Obama? She is just, she is everything, okay? Absolutely everything. Next up, I think these are my sneakers. I randomly looked up. Um, and one, not one, but because I paid for them, but I feel like that's how you have to describe getting sneakers these days, especially like when you do them through the sneakers app, you be like, I actually won. I got a, I got a W today. Um, cause most of the time, most of us are taking L's on the sneakers app, <laughs> but I left up and got some Air Maxes that dropped. These are the like silver bullet Air Max sneakers oh these are so cute these look big wait a minute i don't know this is my size but so cute if y'all know me i am an air max girl air maxes are probably they're not even probably they are my favorite sneaker i love air maxes they are just so comfortable i love how just like so many different colors and styles and just I love Air Maxes so I am so glad that I was able to get these next ones that I really want are the all gold ones like these I don't even remember the last time those were released but I'm so glad I was able to pick these gray ones up these are gonna be perfect this winter um so like I was saying pair these with some cute little sweatpants joggers or something got you a real cute fit so picked these up super excited about these but um what was i saying oh yeah i've been real lucky with the sneakers lately and then the last thing that i got is a mrs to mrs box i don't even know what number of box this is y'all i i don't know i'm not a fan of these boxes to be quite honest so this one is the wedding day essentials box so let's see what they have in here. It looks like, oh, they gave us Val books. Um, okay, let's see what's in here. Now, like I said, I'm not a fan of these boxes. I haven't really used much of the stuff 
that I've gotten in them. I will say the last box that we got was one of my favorites. It came with like a microfiber hair wrap towel, a little silk robe, um, like some bath salts. I think that was probably like one of my favorite boxes that I've gotten so far and stuff that I actually use. But other than that, I haven't really used much of the stuff that comes in these boxes. So, let's see. Oh, okay. A little garter set. Um, we are probably not doing a garter toss in a like a you know sexy dance where he goes up my dress and get that. I don't know if we're doing all that. Mm, probably not. <laughs> High heel protectors. I may need this because oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna use this. This um these are high heel protectors never sink into grass and I will have to walk across some grass I believe in my ceremony so definitely gonna put these inside um some foldable flats okay who in who is wearing these okay cute idea but who is wearing these silver ballet it's a no for me. Um, we got a sleep mask. Well, eye mask. Oh, this is cute. It says Mrs. That's cute. This is a just married window decal. Probably will not be using this, but it's a cute thought. Oh, this is cute. Okay, we probably will take this. Well, I might use this for my bridal shower or something. Um, it's like a little stand that says cards and gifts, acrylic little thing. And then it came with the little feet. So I'll probably definitely use this for my bridal shower. Because I'm not sure this is going to be the colors that we're going to use for our actual wedding. But definitely we'll get use of, out of this for the bridal shower. And then it looks like we got... Some vow books and they just say vows this would have been cute if it was in gold I would have definitely used these if they were in gold but I don't know we may I may give this to Sean and just be like we could use these to just like write down thoughts and feelings and all of that you know I just feel like because we were talking about this not too long ago He's like, have you thought about like what you want to write in your vows and stuff like that? So I think this would just be good to just like have to like jot down random things that we're feeling or have in mind at the moment. Um, but I am going to get us some different vow books. But these would be good to be like for our rough drafts. <laughs> so that's it. That's all that's in this box. So there was a couple of cute things in here. But like I told y'all, I don't really use a lot of these things that come in this box but I feel like I'm almost done I think you get like a total of nine boxes I'm pretty sure I'm almost done that's all my packages for now um but that just reminded me so what are y'all shopping for for Black Friday this year um for me my main things that I'm going to be getting for Black Friday are like related to wedding wardrobe so I told you guys that I'm gonna get my wedding shoes on Black Friday so those are that's like my main big purchase that I want to get and then um, I want to get like wedding wardrobe outfits I think I found the outfit that I want to wear for my bridal shower um, my bridal shower is gonna be in June so I'm excited about that so yeah I'm really just like trying to see what sites are going to have sales and what's best for me to just go ahead and get while it's on sale and everything like that we are going to be in our oh i still have one more package hold on i had this package from J Lux label talking about being at our resort made me think about this because i bought this stuff to wear when we go in january it's only two things um but I bought this to wear when we go in January because that will be my birthday weekend that we're out there um, at the resort doing our planning visit and stuff like that. But my plan when we go for the actual wedding in July 
um, we're gonna be out there for a week so our wedding is on a Sunday and we're gonna be there from the Wednesday before to the Wednesday after so that entire week my plan is to wear like all white outfits yes <laughs> so that is my plan to wear all white all white like you know tropical resort type vibe outfit so that's why i really want to just like start to get a lot of those clothing items because i need to find basically seven days worth of white outfits um in addition to bridal shower outfit and then even though y'all know we are not having a bridal party my friends are still planning me a bachelorette trip I have no idea where, no idea when. They haven't told me a thing. Um, <laughs> it's all in their hands. I am not planning a thing about it. So I just have to keep that in the back of my mind as well. That I'm being, I'm gonna have to find like bachelorette trip outfits too. So all that to say, I picked up two dresses from J Lux label. Oh, this is so damn cute. Oh my gosh, y'all. It's like a knit dress with this like high split. I'm going to put a picture from the website over here on the side because I'm not trying this on right now. Um, but I thought that this would be so perfect. Like resort vibes. Just very resort-esque vibes. Okay. I got this dress and then I got this second dress. It's like a buttercream. Oh, love this. This is going to be so I love like neutral tones against my skin complexion. So bad. I bought this dress and again I'm gonna put a picture up on the side of the front. Oh baby and the back is open. Um, I'll put a picture of the back as well and I figured I would probably wear this on the night that we do like a dinner celebration for my birthday. My battery's dying. Hold on. Hey y'all, I'm back. I figured, let me put it on. I'm about to try, I'm about to try a new little like frozen dinner from Trader Joe's. I usually get the um, butter chicken and the, is it fiery chicken? I don't know, it comes in like a teal box. This is gonna be my first time trying the chicken tikka masala. So, I figured I would give y'all a little, it kind of looks just like the butter chicken difference, but it looks just like the butter chicken. Um, so, I'm about to heat this up. I'm going to come back on and do a, a taste test with you guys, because what do we love? Trying new things at Trader Joe's. All right, y'all. So, my presentation wasn't the best, but <laughs> we are about to try the chicken tikka masala. I'm sitting over here on my couch because I'm about to watch TV. Um, I'm about to watch the new episode of The Impact. Are y'all watching that? Um, with like Jada and Ari and Tay and all them. Um, I mean, it's it's like it's whatever i feel like they're like fishing for storylines on there but whatever all right let's go ahead and try this out though all right so we're gonna get some of the rice and some of the chicken move cash he want to come sit beside me because he see i'm em he think he's slick but all right let's try it Honestly, it tastes just, it tastes just like the butter chicken to me. Like, pretty much the same. Yeah. It doesn't taste too different. So, 
if you've had the butter chicken from Trader Joe's, I feel like this is the same thing in a different packaging. <laughs> That's definitely what it's giving. So yeah, I like it because I like the butter chicken. So it tastes the same to me. It's not super spicy. Um, I will say, and maybe I just didn't go to the right place, but a few weeks ago I tried butter chicken from an authentic Indian spot. And again, maybe my first introduction. Well, no, because I like the butter chicken at Essex here. I don't know. I think maybe I just didn't go to the right spot, but I wasn't really a fan of the butter chicken from that place. I can't even remember the name of where I got it from. I just looked up some random place on Yelp. But Essex um, Bistro, what is it called? I'm Essex here in Charlotte, downtown. Their butter chicken is really, really good. I love their butter chicken. Oh, it's so good. But I'm about to finish eating and watch the impact. Hello, you guys. Happy Friday. Y'all, do not judge my buns, okay? Um, I didn't do my flexi ride method last night because I was too lazy. So I just did these two little buns. Do not judge me. Um, but it is like four o'clock um i'm still working but i need to start making my cornbread for later today yes because y'all know we're basic around here um <laughs> that's my contribution as well as um i picked up like plates and cups and stuff like that so i am just about to um make my cornbread so that I can like put that in the oven, get that out the way while I finish up work for the next hour or so. Um, and yeah, and we are, we getting ready for Friendsgiving. I think I made cornbread last Friendsgiving too. Listen, anybody that knows me knows I don't like to cook. Cooking is not my thing. It is not my forte. Like I know how to cook in a sense of like, yes, I can feed myself and Sean and make sure, like, it's good. I'm not saying like my food be shit, but I don't necessarily like to cook. So if I'm gonna take the easy route for whatever I need to make, I'm definitely gonna take it. So that's why I stick to cornbread. I love cornbread. I can like go through a pan myself for Thanksgiving. Um, that's like something that like I have down to a T so I have no problem making cornbread. I love it and I feel like everybody can't make cornbread because some people cornbread be dry and you know <clears throat> be needing a whole gallon of water but I feel like mine baby it be it be just right. So I got my little pans from Dollar Tree. I'm not gonna make this today, but I picked up the, I've never tried this kind. They had the honey kind of Jiffy in um, Walmart. And yes, I used it from the box. Again, what part of, I don't like cooking. I don't know how to make that stuff from scratch. Like, yes, we use Jiffy around here, okay? So yeah, I picked that up from Walmart. I might make that for actual Thanksgiving, but I've never tried it, so I'm not about to experiment <laughs> on my friends giving i'm gonna just stick to what i know got my eggs and i don't really drink i don't drink whole milk at all but i bought they didn't have anything smaller so i had to get this size um but i just bought some milk just for my cornbread because y'all know we use almond milk here but whenever i make cornbread or whatever i'm baking i always use whole milk because i don't know if Almond milk changes the taste, consistency, I don't know. Again, I'm not experimenting, I'm sticking to what I know. And then, I like to put a tad bit of cinnamon. Um, of course, I put some sugar in my cornbread, make it a little sweet. Um, but I also like to add just a little bit of cinnamon in my cornbread mix as well. I just feel like it gives it that extra. Yeah, and then top it off with butter. So, 
sugar and my cinnamon um i'm probably not going to vlog this whole thing just because i feel like when you try to vlog and cook you be doing a lot and i'm just trying to focus and make sure i do this right okay so about to wash my pans out all of that and the next time y'all see me i probably will not be looking crazy like this with my hair and buns and all of that so yeah we're about to wash my hands wash these pans and get to going so i will check in with y'all in a few hours because you like dealt with it you did something to deal with it one time then rip my damn shirt yeah. get out <laughs> that's not nice Y'all, I was in the middle of putting on my clothes and my whole thing ripped. Okay, I can wear this J Lux label bodysuit, which y'all have seen me wear before already. Um, but then I also just bought this little like taupe color toner neck from H&M a few weeks ago. I'm wearing it with my brown leather pants like leather jogger pants from target so i think i'm gonna do this one yeah i'm gonna do that one because this i don't like those colors together so i'm gonna do the lighter one okay you guys so i am dressed like i said y'all have seen this top probably a couple vlogs ago um and then i just have on my leather joggers Y'all, this is the third Shades of Melanin um, party that I have gone to. The one that we went to last Saturday that y'all saw on last vlog. Um, when I had on like that brown dress, that was a Shades of Melanin um, party. This is as well. And then my, my sister Kayla's brunch on Sunday is a Shades of Melanin theme. So baby... The neutrals, the browns, the nudes, which I already live for, are in full effect with all of these um, events. So I'm really, I don't even think I'm going to wear real shoes. I think I'm just going to take a pair of socks um, and call it a day because we're going to my line, my line sister Diamond's house. She actually just bought this house, new house, so I know we're going to be walking around in our socks. So I'm not, I may not even take a real pair of shoes but we'll see um let me go because it is 6 55 starts at 7 y'all see i'm still in my house so let me go and i will check in with y'all when we get there that need answers yeah I mean that was easy um sorry when people when people be acting crazy you act like you got some home training yes, yes. Wow. <laughs> <Her game>. yes <laughs> in your house, your house. <laughs> are y'all ready mm -hmm. It's a Tyler Perry movie title. I can do that on my own. Yes. yes. Oh, what was the category? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we, need a hit. Hit. we need a hit. We need a hit. R&B, rap. Uh, Whoopi Goldberg. Huh? Oh, um, um, no, that don't make it. Whoopi in a movie. I know what it is. Uh, but. Sister Act. Uh, yeah, it is. Joyful, joyful Lord, we adore thee. And in my life, I put no, nothing. That's my movie. Like She's doing a family yeah. photo shoot. Sure like huh? <laughs> she said. <laughs> Bye. The rest of the time come right in. Oh, oh okay. We're going to have to squat. I have a clicker. Oh. 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 Oh.
I'm gonna make everybody in here. That was a real long time. That was definitely a That was definitely a long time. Okay, we can't okay. get face. Okay. Um, I should have put somebody's lip gloss. That's okay, y'all ready? Yeah, yeah, I think it. about it for you. I'm about to say. Yeah, you have to make sure you're ready. Hey guys, what is up? Happy Saturday. It's like three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, we really are just getting up and moving around. Um, we kind of had a lazy Saturday morning, which is cool with me. Um, but yeah, we are about to head out to one, go to Target, and then two, pick up, um, well not pick up, but go get movie tickets for later on tonight. Um, me, my mom, and my nephew are going to go see Wakanda while Sean, his mom, um, she's in town for Thanksgiving, and my grandma are going to go see Till. So we're going to go grab um, all of the movie tickets for that later on. I told Sean I was not going to see Wakanda with him because when the first one came out, he fell asleep on it. And I was like, okay, nah, I'm definitely not going to see the second one with you. So my mom wanted to see it. And then, of course, my nephew wants to go see it as well. So we're going to go together. Um, our movies, they end up being at the same time. Um, theirs starts like 10 minutes after ours. So it's like worked out perfect that we can do two separate movies. Um, so, yeah, we are just about to head up to North Lake um, to get those movie tickets because... Um, that's where we're gonna go that was the only one that had both movies playing like around the same time so we're gonna head out i just have on hold on let me show y'all we just have on basically an all black fit what else is new so i have on this black like hoodie um just some leggings my favorite target leggings and then i put this gray like bomber jacket over it to tie in with my sneakers y'all don't mind my heels sitting over here <laughs> but um to tie in with my um air maxes so that is the fit for our earrings actually probably keep this on all day actually so this is a saturday fit and then of course i'm just carrying my tail bar so we are finally ready always waiting on this one he saw me wearing all black, so he wanted to put on all black, too. My muse, or no, my whatever right. it's called. You're my muse, because I do my art after you. So I'm your, what, you trying to say I'm your protege or something? Yeah, yeah. Fit check, you, not bad, not yeah. bad. Anyway. All right, we'll check in with y'all later.